Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about comic collection software. Every one of us have comic collections out there. Some have a lot more, probably a lot more than I do. Um, but how do you track your comic collection? Do you track it through an Excel spreadsheet? There's a bunch of other different software programs out there. Do you track it on your phone? Do you have it just a little diary, pen and paper? Either way, I'm going to tell you guys about the comic software that I use to uh, track my collection. And it's called uh, Comic Collector, and it's from CLZ. Also, uh, so we'll just go to the website here. It's clz.com. And it, from their homepage here, it shows a whole bunch of their different products. There's a CLZ Berry, which is a great phone app. You can use it to scan the barcodes right off your comics right into your either your phone app or the software on your computer, whichever one you choose, or both. Um, you also have CLZ Movies if you wanted to track movies. There's CLZ Books. There's also Music. But the one I use here is CLZ Comics. There's also one for video games as well. So if we click on CLZ Comics here, it instantly takes you to the phone app software. Uh, it's available for Android or iOS. Um, but what I use, I use the phone app, but I also use the Comic Collector software itself for my computer. I mean, it's a little steep. It's gone up over the years. It's $49.95. I think I paid $29.95 back in the day, a few years ago. But that price is well worth it. The software is well maintained. It's constantly being updated. It's constantly being tweaked. They listen to the uh, customer base, always making changes to it. Like I said, it's available for both Windows and Mac. So either way, I mean, I'm using it on a Mac here, of course. So what it gets you is you get automatically download all issues and details and images. It uh, has feature rich and highly customizable d desktop software, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes. You can also install it on multiple computers, then sync your data between them. There's also a cloud service they offer where you can sync your collection to the cloud. So you can, um, which is beneficial, especially if you're using the phone app as well, because you can add stuff to your computer and then open the app from your phone and then automatically sync it from down back from the cloud. And it does installs. And even if you remove books from your collection, I mean, it's great. I love it. Like I said, the price might seem a little steep, but if you ask me, it's well worth it. Um, so let me go ahead and I'll show you, let's see here, what the software looks like. Just widen this up a little bit. So here's the software on my, this is actually my collection here, so don't knock a bunch of the books. <laughs> but, so you have all your, you know, all your titles here on the left hand side for your series. You can um, sort them by comic series, you can sort them by publisher. Um, you can adjust the view a lot. You can adjust the skin. I mean, you can go there's a whole bunch of different skins here. They got classic, wood light, wood dark, glass, metal, carbon, quicksilver. You can even adjust uh, how the books are shown. You can do it by list. You can do it by icons. You can do it by like a uh, wheel, display wheel there. And you can also do it by uh, gallery. So I usually do just the little thumbnails there. And then uh, you can also make them bigger. You zoom in, make them smaller. Let's do this. Let's bring this up a little bit more. So there's all types of ways here. You also you can change your display for how you want the overall display to go. You can go three panels full height with folders, which does it like this way. You can also do it here. I mean, it's all very customizable to how you want to see your stuff. Um, let's see here, vertical, which is what I usually do. Uh, horizontal. You can do two panels. So, like I said, and then say you, you want to add books to your collection, you can go right in here and do add automatically. And then you can just either, uh, once if you wanted to go by barcode, if you're using that barcode berry app, like I've used that before. But a lot of times if you're buying stuff that's bag and board, especially a lot of image comics, a lot of the comics with the barcodes on the back, I got sick of di taking them out of the bag and scanning the barcode. So, I mean, you can create pool lists here to have them automatically added when new comics come in that's on your pool list. It'll automatically add them. And same with daily update. But a lot of times I do straight from the title and then, it's, you know, I just start putting my comics in. So I'll just say like, uh, say uh, Suicide Squad. 
Of course, it does searches as you're typing. And then you have your show size squad titles here. We can go volume four, rebirth, volume one, volume three. So let's just say rebirth. And there's all your uh, rebirth comics. The one in blue, of course, is one I've already added. So uh, we'll go back, say volume four. And then we'll just say, uh, let's say you got the Baltimore Comic Con exclusives. So you just click the little check mark there. This pops up on the right hand side. Then you can click the link here and it shows actual comic art, plot, characters, creators. I mean, it's pretty cool. And then if that's one you want, you just click add. So then another window comes up. You can say, well, it's in your collection where you're selling it. It's on your wish list. You have it on order. It's not in your collection. So not in your collection, say if you're creating like a wish list. And you can say like the story where you got it from. And this is all you can sit here and you can uh, add those as well. That's You can create a new one. Just type it in here and just say uh, Simple Man's Comics. And then whatever you paid for it. And say, uh, say like a dollar ninety nine. You also say how many you got, and then of course the purchase date. And you can change that from the calendar here, or you can type them in. And then once you click add, it adds it to your collection. So, the good thing that I like, especially if uh, you can add notes into comics on your collection. So let's just say, um, let's see here. say batman killing joke right so we'll click this up you can sit here and edit all the information from your comic if you wanted a lot of it's pre-filled so you don't really have to do much to it but you can do, create tags um creators characters i mean it's all it's this can't complain about this software i mean it's it's pretty intuitive and pretty great but uh you sit here and then you can say so it shows you the notes you already have um purse collection the store i bought it at what i purchased it for when i bought it the condition i got it in of course i tagged it cgc because one of the notes i have here is that i have it's a cgc 9.6 so and then uh if you want to add more notes you can just go in there and do the edit like i said I was going to plots and notes and you can say uh joker shoots pew 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 and just click OK and there it is it adds there in your notes so of course I've added a couple comics without syncing it to the cloud so the exclamation marks can show up there so then you can do sync changes and it automatically syncs it and then if you want to, you can sit there and say, view my collection in the cloud. So there it shows basically your whole collection again. Same thing as titles. I mean, the software is pretty badass. So um, I'm trying to think of what else I could show you guys. Uh, you, can do, you can manage a pick list. You can create a loan manager if you guys loan comics out. I, I think this would be more for like if you loan trade paperbacks because you can track trade paperbacks in here as well. Uh, so you can sit there and put the barcode. You can put loan to, create who you loan to, loan period, and it, it'll create reminders for you. So you can even return the comic back. I mean, this software will track anything you want pretty much. Um, Let's sit here and say, like I said, a drop down, you can do series and group. You can do publisher. So you can say action lab, then the end of the series in there. Um, so you say like DC comics, all your DC comics. So you can get as granular as you want. I mean, you can sort it. I mean, all the all types. If, if you guys are looking for good comic collection software and you have the money to spend for it, I definitely recommend this. But either how. So that's pretty much all I have to show about it. Like I said, if you guys are looking for good software and you want to uh, track your comic collection, I recommend uh, the comic collector from clz.com. Either way, let me know what you guys think. Um, sorry, this is kind of thrown together real quick. But hey, if you like the video, click that thumbs up button. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys 
are using the software. If you're using it differently, how are you guys using it? I'd love to hear about that. And of course, if you want to see more of these type of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. I'll catch you guys next time. Oh,